Friends, have I finally got some good news for you. That's right. Season 2, Made Abyss. All right, all right, all right. That's right, friends. It's your main man, Z, with Our Views Will Kill You, and I'm here to bring you some joyous news, some really good news. And I know this is not, we're not the biggest anime channel in the world, but we are fans of anime. We do like to promote it when we get the chance, especially when it's something exciting like this. Main Abyss Season 2, The Golden City of the Scorching Sun, gets a second trailer. It looks like it's going to be released in July, and I'm super excited. This is in my you know top group of animes that I recommend to people. I will say, though, there, there's a little bit that we should go over before we get to that. This, as you can see from the anime style, and if you're not familiar with it, uh, I highly recommend it, but it is not for the faint of heart. As you can see over here, the anime style is kind of cutesy wootsy, high fantasy, children, things like that. But be prepared for certain things like, uh, I mean, this, this show is soul crushingly depressing some of the hardest hitting storytelling I've ever seen on film. Uh, it's very, very uh, adult oriented, I would say, even though, you know, you have to be prepared for kids getting anal suppositories. Let's just put it that way. So be prepared if you do decide to watch this show. I cannot recommend it more highly though. It's really fantastic. To give you a brief rundown as to what the show is about, essentially there's a city that has been created around this abyss. Think of like an in like the top rim of a volcano that's empty that just goes down like a funnel and each layer has a different level. There's tiers to it and the city has become very prosperous because these people go around and uh, they get artifacts and sell them and they become very powerful and, and profitable to do that. And there's a whole city that supports the system. Uh, it, the story starts with an orphan girl uh, named Rico. I think that's her name, Rico. And she uh, just, she's an orphan living in a city and decides that she wants to take after her mother, who is a uh, famous, what they call White Whistle, which is just an explorer from someone who's survived the depths because each layer of the of the depths has different curses to it so even coming back up can have problems physically mentally uh you might change in certain ways you may no longer be human there's a lot of weird things it's very mysterious there's a lot of really good mystery to it and you get to travel with rico she unravels the mystery of the the abyss looking for her mother and she meets her friend uh this little robot boy and you find a little bit more about the backstory of what's going on I do like a good mystery as well. So it's very interesting as she explores this fantastical, beautifully drawn, highly deadly world where this mystery just kind of unra unra unravels around you of this strange, mysterious world. It's very cool, very interesting, highly recommended. Be sure to check it out. So season two should be coming out sometime in July. And um, the original anime was written in 2012. I don't know that much about the anime, never read it, so this won't be any spoilers for me. I won't spoil the show for you, I just gave you a brief rundown. But I definitely think that this is pretty exciting. They And they have everything where they're, they're, they're clear, they're going through one specific arc, and um, they're going to give you like a little bit of, you know, I guess, flesh out the story. But if you, as you can see, like, <clears throat> it was originally off-putting to me that there was like these cutesy wootsy characters you know and i was like yeah i'm not interested in this but people recommended it i recommend it you should definitely check it out it's definitely more adult than you think in fact a little bit disturbing in certain places because you have these cute little you know children put in very very like difficult and extraordinarily hazardous situations very strange very strange show but one of the best animes i think i've ever watched um let's see here what else and then and they go through and they just show different things apparently there's some fan favorite characters um there's some new characters that we've never seen before i think it's kind of interesting and cool the character designs are really wild stuff that that's totally out there but they all have these you know these weird innocent looking eyes but not everything is as as it seems down in the abyss and uh, I thought that was kind of interesting because the show is, is from 2012. So I don't know if it's, uh, 
Like some of the character designs are just like really cool. Like, yeah, this looks like a Bioshock character almost. Very interesting, very interesting. So I'm excited, I hope you are. If you have any animes that you'd like to recommend that we do reviews on or anything that you think we, we should see, please recommend them down below. I've watched quite a bit of anime and I have a pretty decent repertoire. My co-host Noob Noob has not seen all the best stuff there is out there, but he does recommend Full Metal Alchemist. I think that's one of his favorites. And he did recommend to me this show, so he's also very excited. So, more to find out in the abyss. There's a brand new song for it too, which is always exciting. People, you know, uh, I think one thing that Japanese anime does a little bit better than than some of the stuff produced in the U.S. is they always make these amazing. They hire these amazing bands to do really good, catchy songs, and I think it always adds experience. You don't ever really want to skip the intro card to an anime or the end card because it's part of the experience. You get these really cool songs and. Different season and arcs are, are usually delineated by different songs. So very cool, very good stuff, very excited. Are you excited about this? Have you seen this? I know it's old, it's like five years old, but we're getting another season. If you if you didn't get the chance, I don't know if it's still on uh, Amazon. I know the ink to deal with Amazon, so I think that's where it's gonna show up. As I get more news, maybe we'll deliver that to you. Uh, be sure to check it out. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Again, if you like what we do here on the channel, we appreciate you watching. Perhaps this time we earned your subscription. Uh, we would really greatly appreciate it. Please just click on the links below and give us a like, subscribe. Tell me in the comments below, what do you recommend we watch? Or have you seen Made in Abyss and you like it? Maybe you hate it because you don't like anal suppositories. I don't know. But let us know below. Be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast anywhere you can get podcasts. That would be Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places and more. Be sure to also catch our full-length broadcast or live cast of our podcast. You can come stream with us on 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Times on Fridays. Be sure to join us there. We have a great chat and a lot of fun. But for me, I am on to the next one.